What's up, YouTube? My name is Devlin, and I'm ready to fucking commentate some videos right now. Got myself a big-ass glass of water and some Fisherman's Friend lozenges uh, in case things get a little dicey, because I got a lot of talking to do right now. Got five videos I'm going to commentate in a row, but uh, I, think I, I think I could do it. It's, it's, uh, it's going down right now. So, um, as I told you in my, uh, my channel update video, there's going to be some Splinter Cell gameplay for you guys to watch, and that's what you're seeing right now. And what I'm playing here is uh, something called Hunter. Now, in Splinter Cell Conviction, there's a couple different game modes. Uh, first of all, there's the single player campaign, as I'm sure you, you know. There's also the co-op multiplayer area, and then there's the deniable ops. Um, a lot of the multiplayer and deniable ops game modes are the same. The difference being, obviously, that deniable ops you do on your own and multiplayer you do with somebody else, whether it's a friend or a random that it just pairs you up with. Um, right now, I'm just doing the deniable ops, so I'm doing this, uh, doing it solo right now. And uh, I really like deniable ops because it's a lot of fun, but it's also a really, really great way to, to hone your skills in this game. Um, gets you really familiar with the controls and with the atmosphere and how to maneuver uh, from place to place and stuff like that. Now, basically, the premise of Hunter, which is the game type I'm playing right now, is to move through a level and eliminate all the enemies that are patrolling each area. And uh, in each area, or sorry, in each level, there are five areas that you have to go through, each of which have ten enemies. Um, I, I couldn't fit an entire level into one video, because each area takes between five and seven minutes. Um, so I've split it up, as I've told you before, into uh, five different videos that I'll be posting Monday through Friday, one a day. Now, um, you have to be really careful in Hunter because if you uh, alert the people to your presence, then they get reinforcements. They get an additional uh, 10 guards um, to, to back them up. And it's not just 10 extra guards patrolling, it's 10 guards that know you're there and they're on high alert. They've got their flashlights shining all over the place. Um, on the lower difficulties, not such a big deal, but when you're playing on realistic and it, it doesn't take too much to kill you, then it's uh, a bit more of a problem. So... Um, I'm playing on uh, realistic. I've already uh, finished the campaign, to be honest with you. Um, it's a pretty short campaign, I'm not going to lie. And I did on the hard difficulty, too. Um, I finished the game within 24 hours of having it at my house. Uh, granted, I did play it a lot. Um, the campaign probably took me about uh, six hours, five or six hours altogether. Um... I probably should have took my time a little more with the game. I have a real bad habit of picking up a game that I really enjoy and then just putting my head down and going right through the entire thing. And I don't know. It's just like I, when I really enjoy a game, I just can't put it down. It's like a good book, I guess. But um, I'm a little, I'm, I'm regretting it a little bit that I finished it so quickly. But since they've got so much uh, extra content um, in the Deniable Ops and the multiplayer, I feel like I'm still going to be having a lot of fun with this game for quite a while. Um, it's not one of the it's not one of those games that once you finish the single player co-op or the single player um, adventure that the game's done and you just put it on the shelf and never touch it again. Um, I'm waiting for my buddy Agron to pick this game up. Um, he's picking it up either uh, today, Monday, or tomorrow, and then we're going to go through the uh, co-op campaign together. I figure it's probably best to do that with somebody that I know, so we can uh, cooperate a little bit better than it would be with just uh, a random person I get matched up with. Um, because, yeah, a lot of the people I, I've been getting matched up with for uh, different co-op ventures, really, um, it's not that they aren't good. Uh, some of them are, are, are fairly good at the game, but a lot of people, they don't care about the stealth aspect. And when the round starts, they just pull out their assault rifle and, and go to town with it. And I guess it, it works if you're good and you've got good reaction time and stuff like that. But, you know, that's really not what this game is about. And if you really want to jump into a third-person game and run and gun, then I highly suggest you pick up Gears of War um, or something like that. Because this isn't really the game for it. You can do it, absolutely, but should you? Probably not. I mean, that's not, that's not the point of the game. And I think it takes a lot of the, the fun out of this game. Because it's one of the few games I've played lately that you have to kind of sit back and take a methodical approach to. Uh, you can't just run around like an idiot and, and find a whole lot of success. Um, so yeah, I, I like the fact that you have to be a little more cold and calculated when you play this game. It's, it's, a, it's pretty refreshing from the fast-paced stuff that I'm, that I'm used to playing lately. Um, 
so anyway guys I've just got one more guy here to kill in this uh, in this area and what I'm gonna do for each one of these videos is at the beginning and the end I'm gonna post an annotation uh, one to view the previous video one to view the next video and I'll also be putting links for those videos in the description as well and I'll probably make them video responses to each other just to make it super duper easy to navigate from one to the other and um, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are back tomorrow to check out the next part and see how I fare and see what goes down. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, peace out. Thanks for watching.